Everybody considers electric vehicles to be very green, and from a usage perspective, they are. However, the batteries don't last forever. So a lifetime of eight to 10 years in the batteries means that over a period of time, there'll be a lot of waste developed there. And if we don't, as a country, consider what to do with that waste, then they won't be as green as we think. If we continue to use these natural resources, then at some point we are going to have to look at recycling them. We're going to be looking at the reclamation of the materials and then look to see if we can actually reuse the electrodes, reuse the packaging, reuse the solvents, reuse the salts, and then manufacture a demonstration pouch from those. Well, we have expertise in reprocessing cobalt, manganese and nickel salts, and one of the few companies in Europe be able to do that. Currently our batteries are shipped over to Europe and a lot of those materials which are on the critical elements and strategic materials list are lost. We've recycled materials from many sources over a number of years. Um, all of the tests show that the materials are identical to those made from virgin sources. So theoretically there's no reason why we couldn't recycle over and over again. Investment is hugely important in this field because it stimulates discussion, it stimulates research and development and in particular this Faraday Battery Challenge has stimulated interest from companies that haven't typically been involved in the battery arena before. So here we're maximising what the UK can provide in terms of materials um, and technology and also bringing them into the UK economy in a growing industry. Music